Yo, what is going on guys? Matt here and welcome to week number 4 of my Oakland Raiders Connected Franchise Mode here on Madden 16 where your Oakland Raiders are taking on the Chicago Bears. So this is a very, very important week for the Raiders after losing last week to the Cleveland Browns in which uh, a game where we had a pretty substantial lead and the Browns offense really came back strong in the fourth quarter, scored 12 points I believe, and then eventually were victorious in the end. So our record falls to 1-2 and two, and we will face the Jay Cutlerless Bears today and look to improve our record to a 500 record at 2-2. Two and two. So Jimmy Clausen is going to be the quarterback for the Bears today as he will look to provide anything possible as he has 102 yards and an interception most likely um, substituting for Jay Cutler last game after he got injured. He's out for the next seven weeks with a broken hand. So here we go. This game is underway. Matt Forte, one of the best players on this team for the Bears, is going to get five yards on his first carry. Second and five for Jimmy Clausen. He's throwing it over to Matt Forte, who spins around a tackle. He's down the sidelines across midfield, and he's all the way down to the 47-yard line. So a nice run there by Matt Forte. Like I said, one of the best players on this team, if not the best player, and we are going to have to contain him today. Another run from Forte. He'll get six. Second and four now. Jimmy Clausen going forward. Has the first down. Gets hit hard by TJ Carey, but nevertheless, he hangs on to the ball and does not get injured for a nine-yard rush. So first down for Jimmy Clausen and the Bears. First and ten now. Clausen runs right into Justin Tuck, and that is a sack. A loss of nine. Second and 19 now. Jimmy Clausen finds Kevin White. The first round pick last year from the Bears out of West Virginia. And again, he finds Kevin White, this time for the first down on a third and eight play. So Kevin White has two receptions and a first down so far today for the Bears. So first and ten now. Jimmy Clausen hands it off to Matt Forte. He will try to go up the middle, but he is wrapped up and not going anywhere. Armstrong gets that one. And next up, Matt Forte. Well, basically the same thing. Only gets one. Third and nine now for Jimmy Clausen. Throws it over. Eddie Royal is in and he has the touchdown for the Bears. So really not what we wanted to do as Jimmy Clausen finds his open receiver, Eddie Royal, and the Bears are up 7-0. That will bring out Derek Carr, who has had a decent year. Last game didn't have too many yards because we were on the ground most of the time as we were looking for Latavius Murray to have another big game and lead us as he is up and coming in the running back field in the NFL. And there is a first down for Latavius Murray. So there's his first down of the day. Trying to have a good game like he did last game and establish himself. He already is our number one for sure, but just establish himself in the NFL as a whole. And right here is not a very good pitch. Loss of one, second and 11 now. And that is a reception from Roy Halud Jr. And he is going to get two yards away from the first down. And now he will punch it in for the first down as he is all the way up to the 50-yard line. So a first down there for the Raiders and Roy Halud Jr. And honestly... If he can just get going and get those first downs, that would be amazing. First and 10 now, Derek Carr doesn't see the rushing man, and he gets sacked. Second and 20 now, play action. He's going over to Smith, and Lee Smith, the second string, or actually third string tight end, is not going to make the catch, and then on the next play, he gets tackled. There is a flag on the play, third and 20, but this one is going to be on the Raiders. So as a result, it's going to be a first or a fourth down Sorry for the Raiders. They're going to have to punt it off as there is a holding call against Gabe Jackson. And the Raiders will be punting it off to the Chicago Bears. Jack Del Rio, not too happy about that. Now, Jimmy Clausen sending it over, and that was almost intercepted by Charles Woodson. Next play, hands it off to Matt Forte. Bit of a safer play as Matt Forte gets five yards. Third and five now for Jimmy Clausen at the 41. Throws it over, and Ray Ray Armstrong comes up with the interception. Just a crazy throw there from Jimmy Clausen as it looks like he was throwing it away, but he threw it right to Ray Ray Armstrong who gets the interception and gives the Raiders the ball right back. And here's Latavius Murray rushing for a solid four yards. Second and six now, going over now, this time to Rivera and Michael Rivera gets his way over the first down marker for the first down. Definitely want to see more of that. So we're at the 34 yard line, Derek Carr out of the snap, hands it off to Latavius Murray and he is going to get a good amount of yards, second and five now, over again, this time to Michael Crabtree, his first reception and he has the Raiders another first down. So we're marching down this field after the interception by Ray Ray Armstrong picking off Jimmy Clausen, now a pitch now to Murray, he will try to work his way over and those pitches really aren't working today, a gain of one, second and nine now, Carr looking for someone who's open and we're going to find Amari Cooper, his first reception now and we're inside the 10 yard line, Roy Hallou Jr. getting a yard and that will put us at the 8 yard line, so 
Fourth and two now for the Raiders. We're not able to convert on that interception, and as a result, we're just going to have to settle for a field goal. So the lead is cut down now to four for the Bears as Janikowski nails that one through the uprights, and it is 7-3 here in Chicago. First and ten now for Jimmy Clausen. He's throwing it over, and there is Michael Bennett getting a first down and more for the Bears as Jimmy Clausen completes his fifth pass of the day out of seven, and that's a 14-yard reception for Michael Bennett. Now handing it off to Matt Forte, and he is not going anywhere. Two yards gain, second and eight. Here is Miller trying to fight for the first down, but he won't be able to get it. They're two yards short. Matt Forte plows his way past the first down marker for a first down for the Bears. So really, struggles so far are stopping the Bears whenever they have a third down. We really need to do that, and we're having a tough time doing so as Matt Forte is having a pretty decent game. Second and 11 now, Forte gets it again, and this time he's all the way up to the midfield yard line, 50-yard line, but he's still seven yards away, and that is what we needed, a huge stop. The second sack of the game for Justin Tuck, and that is going to force the Bears to punt the ball off to the Raiders. So here comes Latavius Murray, a juke to the middle, and now he's going to get tackled. No, he breaks the tackle. He's across midfield, down the sideline, one man to beat. He is tackled. No, he breaks another tackle. He stays in bounds, and he is into the end zone. What an incredible run by Latavius Murray. A hundred rushing yards on the day, and that is basically one of the best runs you will ever see in the NFL. Just an incredible run here from Latavius Murray as he is going to give the Raiders a 10-7 lead. Just what we wanted to see. Next play though, Jimmy Clausen trying to answer and he's going deep to Kevin White who catches the ball. He's inside the 10-5 touchdown and the Bears answer on the very next play. Wow, what a series of events. Just absolutely what we didn't want to happen as the Bears retake the lead, and it is 14-10. So after that huge scare, as Latavius Murray gets that huge run, they come back in a long touchdown pass to Kevin White and take the lead back. Derek Carr now, first and 10, handing it off to Latavius Murray, who is down at the 39-yard line. Second and six now, Carr looking for an open receiver, still looking. Nobody is open. He's going to run to his right. He's going to fake the pump, and he is going to throw it away. So third and six now, and Derek Carr gets sacked. A flag on the play, but Derek Carr thankfully isn't injured. Really, we just don't want him to get injured because he's our best quarterback. And as a result, there's going to be a face mask on the play, and this is a good thing as it's on the Bears. So we do get a little bit of a break there, so we get the ball back. First and 10, new set of downs. Derek Carr looking for an open receiver, and he finds a wide open Michael Crabtree. So that's the first down for the Raiders at the 37-yard line, and Derek Carr is so far 5 for 7 with 48 yards on the day. Oakland has 151 total yards. And Derek Carr is looking to do something else because he's been handing it off a lot to Latavius Murray, which isn't a bad idea. But, uh, you know, we'd like to get him his passing game going. And there is one to Michael Crabtree on second and ten, making it third and three. But the time in the half is going to expire. We'll kick a field goal. But Sebastian Janikowski boots it to the right. I swear to God, this is a glitch. Like, it really is. So, anyways, we're 14 to 10. In the halftime, we're down by four. There was a comment in the last video basically saying to change the auto kick setting in the settings, but that was after I recorded the next couple of episodes. So we'll change that later. Hopefully we can get something going here in the second half here in Chicago. All right, we are back in the second half. First and 10 now as the Raiders start off the half with the ball, and there is Latavius Murray getting another touchdown as he has 126 yards on the day with 10 rushes. So a very nice game so far by Latavius carrying his team. First and 10 now. Carr over to Murray and that is a solid six yards. Second and four now. Going to Hulu Jr. this time. He is going to get the first down. He has a lot of first downs today and that's what we need him to do as he's the third down back. First and 10 though for the Raiders at the 46 yard line. Hulu Jr. gets the ball again and again fighting for those extra yards and he will get a solid nine yards. Second and one now. Handing it off to Hulu Jr. again, and yet again, he has another first down. So nice job there by the Raiders uh, calling the right plays and getting past this Chicago defense, which isn't known for being too good, but we'll take it anyways. Latavius Murray down the field to the 24-yard line, second and three now. Murray again, this time he gets a first down, and he is down inside the 20-yard line. So looking really good here on the ground today. We'd like to get the passing game going, but this is working, so we'll take it. 
Now Halu Jr. gets four. Second and six. Derek Carr out of the snap. Rolling to his right. He has some space. He's going to take it. Inside the 20. Now the 15. Now the 10. And he goes out of bounds at the 8-yard line. Third and three now for Derek Carr. Throws it over. And Andre Holmes with a nice catch there. Derek Carr threads the needle. And it pays off for the Raiders as they take the lead back again. Now up by three, 17-14 here in Chicago against the Bears. So here comes Jimmy Clausen handing it off to Matt Forte, but we are stopping him. Second and 13 now, and that is an interception. Nate Allen gets it, and the Raiders take the ball right back. An excellent play there as Jimmy Clausen throws his second interception in, or third total interception in the last two games, second of this game. And the Raiders have good field position at the 25-yard line, giving the ball right back to Latavius Murray. He'll get three. Second and seven now. Carr out of the snap. Waits throws over to the left. Rod Streeter has it. He has room, and he is in for the touchdown. Rod Streeter puts up another touchdown for the Raiders, and it is going to be 24-14. Oakland takes the lead as we have a 10-point lead, and Matt Forte all of a sudden is struggling for the Bears, and they're going to have to get their passing game going. On second and nine, that ball is going nowhere. Jimmy Clausen doesn't find a receiver. Now third and nine, he's looking for an open one, and that is Eddie Royal. Again, our third down struggles continue. We stop them on all the other downs, but when it comes to third downs, we just can't stop them. Now Jimmy Clausen, first and 15 after a flag, throws it over to the right side, and that is Kevin White, who has a touchdown in this game, getting them to a f the 48-yard line. Second and seven now, as Forte's trying to punch it in, but he is not going to as our players are making the tackle. Now, another play, this time over to White, who hangs onto the ball and gets the Bears the first down. So again, just can't stop him here as they get another first down, and they are still down by 10, but threatening here as they'll hand it off to Matt Forte, who does get a good chunk of yards. Seven on the play, second and third now. Jimmy Clausen out of the snap, waits, runs to his right, but he's right into the Oakland Raider player, and that is going to be a sack. Khalil Mack, I believe, on the play. Third and nine now, going to Eddie Royal again. And once again, our third down struggles continue. So another first down for the Bears. Jimmy Clausen, play action, throws it down the field to a wide open Alshon Jeffrey. And they are only three points away. So there's a touchdown for the Bears. They are now losing 24 to 21, which means they are only a field goal away. So we need some points on this drive as Latavius Murray will drive down the field and get nine. Second and one now going to Murray again. He'll get the first down and he'll juke his way to the 40 yard line. 165 yards and a touchdown on the day for Latavius Murray, which is exactly what we need. Over 200 rushing yards as a team also today. First and 10, handing it off to Roy Hallou Jr. who gets another first down and brings us to the 48 yard line. He, although Murray is having a very good game, Hulu Jr. has a lot of first downs, and he is really helping us out today as well. This time, going to Hulu Jr. again. He'll go to the outside, fighting for extra yards, and he is just short of a first down. He'll get nine. Second and one out, going to Latavius Murray, who gets a first down and more as he's stumbling his way to the 27-yard line. He is looking very good today. Both our running backs are, and basically... The Chicago Bears just don't have an answer for our running game right now. So here comes Latavius Murray going up the middle. He'll get pushed down to the 22nd yard line. Now, second and five. Murray trying to get something going. He'll get a couple. Third and three now. Derek Carr needs to pass, and he will find a Rod Streeter. So a nice job there as Rod Streeter has a touchdown, and now another reception, and it's another first down for the Raiders, only up by three. Derek Carr now hands it off to Hulu Jr. as we'll continue with the running game, going to the seven-yard line. Now Derek Carr looking for a pass. He throws it over. It's tipped, and Foster gets the interception. Exactly what we didn't want Derek Carr to do. Threw it right into coverage. Foster tips it. It lands right into his arms, and we are not able to get any points on a drive that we needed to get points on. So the Bears don't have good field position, but they'll try. Jimmy Clausen going deep down the field. And it is broken up. Second and 10 now at the 8. Clawson throws it away. Or not even away. Just ahead of his receiver. So now it's 3rd and 14. Handing it off to Matt Forte. Trying to get a first down. And finally we stop him on 3rd down. He gets a good chunk of yards. But nothing going. As now he only has 45 yards on the day after 14 carries. So it's 4th and 4. We'll get the ball right back. And now we really need points on the board. And here is Latavius Murray fighting for extra yards. Getting down at midfield. And now he will get a first down across midfield. So looking very good here are the Oakland Raiders and Latavius Murray, who is about to reach 200 yards after he gets another carry. This time it's going to Hulu Jr. He is going and he is getting another first down. The first down beast, Roy Hulu Jr. coming over from the trade, getting him from Washington at least this offseason, and he is 
proving to be a good second string running back. And you see here why another first down for Halu Jr. 84 yards on the day with 11 rushes. I just can't say how happy I am to have him as a second string running back. Derek Carr now. Late handoff to Latavius Murray, who is fighting for some yards. He won't get anything. He'll get three yards. That'll put him over the 200 yard mark, though. And now here is Rod Streeter getting another reception and another first down. We are inside the 10 yard line as Chicago will begin to take some timeouts here as we are beginning the latter stages of this game. Latavius Murray fighting for a touchdown. He'll get five. And now it's second and goal at the three-yard line. And there is Latavius Murray's second touchdown of the game. And the Raiders have all but put this one away. And it is going to be 31-21 to as the Raiders regain their 10-point lead. And Chicago will attempt to answer. Jimmy Clausen needs to get something going. And that is almost a game-ender there as he's almost intercepted. Second and 10 now. Clausen throws it ahead of his receiver once again. That was Matt Forte. Third and 10. Clausen waiting, and he's just going to throw this one away. His receiver was running out of bounds for whatever reason. And now it's 4th and 10. This could decide the game. Jimmy Clausen needs to complete it. Waiting. Still waiting. Lots of time. Throws it to the right. Alshon Jeffrey cannot hang on to it. And that is the game. The Oakland Raiders win in Week 4 here in Chicago. And finally, they win a road game. John Fox and his squad lose by 10. The Raiders 31, the Bears 21. What an outstanding performance by the running backs of the Raiders as Roy Hill Jr. got a lot of first downs. And then, of course, the big workforce running back for us, Latavius Murray, gets over 200 rushing yards and two touchdowns. So I hope you guys enjoyed. We win this one by 10, 31 to 21. Our record now improves to two and two as we had a very good rushing game. Passing game could have been better. But oh well, next week we're taking on the Broncos in Oakland. I will see you then. Make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe. Peace.